Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. In the second video in my series on how to make games for Legends of Learning using the Unity Game Engine. In the first video, I gave a basic introduction, kind of an overview of how you can request a learning objective category from Legends of Learning. Um, you would get a game design document template. Uh, you'd have to submit a game design document, which they could then approve. Uh, and once you were approved, you were given about seven weeks to develop a game and submit it to them for approval. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to start setting up your game uh, for Legends of Learning. And so they will send you a link to their development um, developer API documentation. And you can see here under Unity, there are instructions for downloading their package that you're going to use for your game. And it tells you the kind of things that are in that package. And it also gives you some requirements here. So I'm going to be using the version of the package that requires the latest 2022.3.5 LTS version. Uh, and so that's what we're going to be using for this game. I'm going to create a new game using that engine. Uh, version and I'm going to do a 2D built in render pipeline core. Now they do tell you that you should not use URP or HDRP. Um, and so I'm going to be using the standard built in render pipeline here. And I'm not connecting to Unity Cloud or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and create that project. And then I'm going to show you how we can start the initial setup and configuration of that project to build a WebGL version that can run with Legends of Learning. Okay, so our newly created project has opened up here. The first thing I want to do is go into our build settings and we want to change our target to be WebGL. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that and say switch platform. And we are going to come back in here and change a lot of settings. But before I do that, I want to import the Legends of Learning package. Okay, so we now have WebGL set up as our build target. So what we want to do, if you remember from the web page, for downloading the SDK, there is a link right here, you can download this Unity package. And so the way you would install that is you'd go into Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And then I have a little shortcut to my Unity Assets folder here where I've downloaded that. And you can see there is the Legends of Learning Unity SDK 5 for 2022 Unity package. So we just double click that. And this is everything we can import. And I'm going to go ahead and import everything. There are a couple of demo projects in here. Um, this one here, and then there is this save state demo. So there are two demo projects included in this package. There's also a few sample sounds. Uh, one really important file, which I'm going to get into, is this language.json. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure all of those are selected and click import. And that should import that entire package pretty quickly. And you can see our project hierarchy now includes the Legends of Learning SDK. Um, there's also under streaming assets, as I mentioned. Move this over here a little bit. Those folders I mentioned, there's a language.json, an LOL spec. We're not going to deal with this questions.json. Um, there's some sample sound files, which we're going to get rid of, but I just wanted to show you that they're there. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure our build settings uh, to meet the requirements for a Legends of Learning game. So the first setting I want to change is right here under code optimization. We want to change this to disk size. We want this to be optimized for a very small disk size. And that's because Legends of Learning requires that the uncompressed build size be no greater than 30 megabytes. So we really, really want to optimize for size here. Another thing you can do here is you can add this override for texture size. You can make sure that your textures that you import are no greater than a specific size. 
and you can play around with this to see what resolution you're comfortable with in your game that looks good enough. Uh, but I'm just going to set this to a max of 1024. This will limit the max texture size of any images that we import into the game to be 1024. The other thing we can do here is we can set this to force fast compressor for the texture compression, and that will help improve the size of our builds. Okay, so now we want to go into our player settings, and we want to pick the LOL template here, and we're going to want to change our resolution to be 1024 by 576. Most users, uh, especially the people that are going to be play testing your game, are going to be using a Chromebook with this resolution. And this is the recommended target resolution that LOL recommends. You also want to make sure that this run in background checkbox is unchecked. You do not want that to be checked. Okay, some other settings we're going to want to look at here. Uh, I'm going to set my light map and quality uh, encoding to be low quality. And I want to change our code generation to be faster but smaller builds. And you can specify whether you're using the old or new input manager. I'm just going to leave this for the old one. And I think that's all I need for that panel. And I think we can accept um, for compression format, um, I think they do accept the Brotley compression. You can leave that on and see if it causes any uh, issues. I'm going to go ahead and say I want full without stack trace for my uh, exception handling here. So I think that's good for the initial thing. You're going to want to change these, of course, for your game. In my case, I'm going to say Midnight Oil Software LLC. And that's all good. All right. Now, I mentioned that there is built into this um, package that we imported some demo scenes. Okay. And so they have a save state demo. And then they have this WebGL LOL demo. And then here you see there are some scenes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into our build settings. And I'm going to remove this selection here. And I'm going to select all of these scenes, and I'm just going to drag them up here. All right. And I am going to build the WebGL version of our game. And let's see, I want to put this in this folder I've got here, in a select folder. And we're just going to let that build. And then I'm going to show you how you can see the uncompressed build size. There's actually two important places you want to look. One is going to be in a file that it puts in this build folder. But you can also look in the console here and see what specifically is contributing to your build size and what assets or, or parts of your application you need to optimize to bring your build size down. After your build is completed, there's a couple of ways you can check your build size. First of all, you can go into the build folder where your build was built to, and there's this lol underscore spec .json file. If we open this up with Notepad, you can see here the uncompressed build size is just around 18 megabytes. So that's well under the 30 megabyte max that LOL requires. The other way you can see the details of your build size is to go into your console and then click these three dots here and say open editor log. And then you can search for build report. And if you scroll down, it will show you what is taking up the most space in your build. You can see how much textures are taking up, sounds, shaders, other assets, and you can even see specific ones. So this will give you some details of things that you can do uh, to improve the performance or the build size of your game. Legends of Learning also gives you the ability to test your game within their test harness. So in order to do that, you need to actually build and run your WebGL game. So if we click that, it will once again build it to your selected build folder. 
And since we've already built, this will go really quick. And then it actually launches it in a local web server here. But you're going to take this URL and in their test harness, you're going to paste that URL and then you need to upload the language file for your game and then click load game. And this will actually load the game up within their test harness. And this is not a fully functional demo, but this is a demo game. If you remember, I copied all of those scenes uh, from the demo into our build settings. Um, not all of these commands work in this demo. A lot of this is deprecated. Um, I, I didn't mention this on their Discord server, and they may be uploading or updating this demo at some point. Uh, but in the meantime, it, you can look at this demo to see how they do certain things uh, to get some ideas on how to implement it in your game. There's some things like submit progress that will tell Legends of Learning um, how far along you currently are in the game. So if you have a certain number of levels in your game, you can basically save some JSON that tells it the current score, um, the current progress in the game, and the maximum progress of the game. And then you can also send the message when it actually completes the game. Uh, and that will actually go ahead and unload the game. So Hopefully this is a, a good second step in how to uh, get started developing a game for Legends and Learning. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about how you can actually implement some of your game, uh, how to hook into some of those SDK commands um, so you can present the user with, say, some buttons to say they want to start a new game or they want to continue from where they left off and so forth and so on. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.